Let's just go. I forgot my gloves, because I always forget my gloves. My very old, worn-out, disgusting gloves. But anyways, let us get back into a GT Sport. Now that the, uh, the, the servers have been maintained, I can play the game again. It's also been, like, a few days, but, you know. Anyways. Um... So yeah, where we left off, we were two races into the Nostalgic 1979. And this is where I fear that uh, things are going to become a problem for this Corvette. But you know what? I don't have a choice. <laughs> I made my bed with this car and I have to lie in it. So, because I can't afford any other car eligible for this because they're all... 15, 20 million credits. Also, congrats on getting the uh, the gold licenses, Sam. Shit ain't easy. In GT2. Especially S9. Rome Knight's a tough track. Mostly because you don't ever fucking use it. Or see it. So, uh, as a refresher, this is what we did to the Corvette. <laughs> we have... Yeah, lots of power, as little weight as I can, softest tires, we have slammed it to the ground, minimum ride height, and our gearing, our, our yeah, <laughs> our gears as long as they can be, preset wise, so, uh, that's where we're working with here, let's hope that I can continue finding success with this car, Lucente Qua. Here we go. This is also going to be the warm-up for me, so this will be interesting. See how much I fuck it up. Gotta remember this thing doesn't like stopping. It is an old car, after all. And I need to turn the game up for me. Not for, for you, the viewer, but for me, the streamer. I can't really hear the car that well. And I want to hear the car. It's vroom vroom fast. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm a little worried about uh, this Corvette's performance because we are basically done with like the speedy speed tracks. You know, Le Mans, Mazda, and uh, the rest of these races are going to be tracks that actually require some modicum of grip. Maybe not here, because there's a lot of long straightaways here, but a lot of the other tracks are going to be a little more reliant on uh, handling performance. And let me tell you, this Corvette does not have the best handling performance. <laughs> many races. There are nine races in this championship. We're on number three. I am quickly making my way through the field here, which is nice. <clears throat> Already up to sixth, about to take fifth. Slam on the brakes in desperate hope that I actually make the corner. I made the corner. Surprisingly, the... F Despite the fact that I've nearly doubled the horsepower of this thing, uh, no wheel spin. I'm honestly surprised at the lack of power oversteer. It could be the racing softs, but, you know. The car was not designed to handle this much power. And yeah, here he is. Handling that power. <clears throat> Maybe the gears being long would helps is helping as well. Since you know we're shifting out of second gear at over a hundred miles per hour. First gear goes all the way up to 75. Too fast, furious, yeah, cars. 
Oh, die cast. Sweet. Oh god. Uh, ee, ee. Slightly awkward on the approach to the bridge turn. Made it though. Squirrely. <clears throat> Closing in on the podium. Less than 10 seconds behind the leader now. I mean, this might be an easier dub, but <clears throat> I'm probably not going to, like, down-tune this any. Because I know the moment I do, I'm going to have to just tune it right back up and I'll, because I'll, like, be... Only one second a lap faster than the leader instead of like four seconds a lap or whatever I need to actually catch them. So, yeah. <clears throat> Buggy slide. Controlled slide. Almost didn't make the turn. I was, I was fighting the car to get it to actually roll. And go to the right. Grab P2. We still got three laps to go. We're, we're looking good for our first race here, for our warm-up race. Helps that there aren't like 12 Ferrari 330s up here. So, you know, that, that's been really beneficial. <clears throat> For the lead. Going defensive. Really tried to, really tried giving the lead back in that turn, but managed to hold on to it. Now we run away. I guess. I just notice how hot the front tires are getting. Like when I slam on the brakes. Oh shit. That was way too fast. Oh no! Speaking of the Ferrari. Found him. Alright. This is no longer an easy dub. It's, it's, it's fighting time. And he's way better than me in the corners. But I do have the speed advantage. Got that acceleration out of the corner as well on me. Shit. This is me legitimately trying to hang with him in the twisty bits. It's not going too well. Oh, 
Nice ass, bro. I was late on the brakes. Just making things more awkward, don't mind me. Okay. Well, that was, uh, that was something. brakes as well. Can't quite beat him. I was going for the sneak, it didn't work. Luckily they're Pretty, due to their pathing, they're pretty slow in that final sector, or this final sector. But still. Oh wow, I PB by four seconds that lap. God damn. In case you're wondering them if I was pushing. I'm using first gear too much. Every time I go down to it, I'm like at the top of first gear. This is a really awkward section for this car. I almost just completely missed the uh, the actual bridge turn. To turn on to the bridge. Nice and smooth. Actually braked in time for the turn off of the bridge this time. Around this really awkward sweeper. Really awkward blind sweeper. Oh, turned in too soon. and smooth. This is where, as a driver, I'm faster. I'm drunk. There's more bad There's my pig. All right, Ferrari gave us a scare, but we're gonna win our first race of the night, and our first attempt. Ooh. There we go, turn my speaker up a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, these Ferraris are gonna be tough to deal with throughout this entire series. No clean race bonus, damn it. Oh well. I'm actually earning mileage points again. Since I spent a bunch on this thing, on this car. Okay. Well, successful first race of the night. Let's uh, head to probably a less successful race because we're going to Goodwood. So, uh... You know how this thing's good at, on the straights and not so much in the turns and out of the turns? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. And this track has a lot of fast sweeping turns as well. It's going to make this even more interesting. Oh, we have a GT40 starting third. Uh, the first Ferrari is starting 7th, so let's see what we can do at Goodwood. 
In order to make the corner, you must turn the wheel that will in turn make the, t the front tires curve or turn and will make the car enter the corner. See, I think I know what the problem is. Of all the upgrades I've done to this thing, I did not put a turbo encabulator in this. I'm having a lot of issues with side fumbling. So that could all be solved with the turbo encabulator. Jesus fucking Christ. We... Here at Rockwell Automations. I keep finding, like, fucking encabulator videos, just like... from people keeping the meme alive. Just random people on YouTube keeping the meme alive, and it's great. Oh, there he go. Goodbye. Goodbye, whoever the hell that was. Rip Bozo. Oh, I'm the Bozo. Never mind, I'm al alive. Alright, so that was a not good lap one. Jesus Christ, turn one, please. Oh no, Ballista 2. Nice. I still need to get that game. Then again, it'll just sit in my Steam library like all the other racing sims that I have that I've barely touched if at all this is an ultra high quality <laughs> oh going this way I am fucking it up. Holy shit. Ow. Oh. There's no way I was going to be able to sneak to the left of that Ferrari. Excuse me. The only dog crash right there. <laughs> it's okay, he's insured. Jag. At least what I assume is a Jag. Do you know that? I mean, the total, like, the, the combined, uh, MSRP in this game for those two cars is uh, 35 million credits. Or no, was this? No, this was 5 million, wasn't it? Or was 10 million, maybe? Can't remember. No, I think this car was 5 mil. Okay, 25 million credits. Point is. Adelaide curves are a bit scary. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Adelaide will do that. Spooky, spooky track. Free of traffic for a short time is a good and a bad thing good because I don't have anybody getting in my fucking way, but it's bad because I need to pass five more cars in three and a half laps. And then being spread out like this makes this more difficult. There's also the issue of the Ferraris, which there they both are. Just in front of me. <laughs> Alright. 
Another purple lap. Love to see it. Immediately fuck it up. Hate to see it. At least I didn't spin this time. Lost a lot of momentum down that straight, but... Did not spin the car. Oh, this, this track's cool. I like it a lot. <clears throat> they were both by this Mark 1 GT40. Fine, don't worry about it. Okay, two to go. Five seconds to the leader. I got both Ferraris right in front of me. But it also kind of sucks. JPEGs at the lowest resolution. God. Yeah, you hate to see it. That's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah. I feel when Prince screen key takes better photos than the actual photo mode. Clump together. Ferrari, Jaguar, and then Ford Mark IV. I got killed by Yoss Verstappen? to defend for my life. Gonna turn on the radar because it'll be close, close to me. At least I'll be able to pull away a little bit on this straightaway, I think. Just a wee bit. Brakes, decent ish line, cut the apex a little bit, it's fine. Oof. Finally, we made it. That was an ordeal and a half. But, we got the win at Goodwood. <laughs> Joseph. Good we stab. Man. Uh, that was fun. Of all the, the scariness and difficulty, that was fun. Cool and good. Actually, I'm going to save the replay of this race, because good wood, old car. Oh, hey, we've reached the 80-hour mark. How about that? All right, Sardinia, a reverse for our next race. Let's see how this goes. This might be a little less painful because we do have some straightaways here. Fairly long-ish straights. Cut a Mustang starting on pole. Oh. He's a he's gonna get swallowed whole. 
And the first of the Ferraris is outside the top eight. Okay. Well, in that case, let's go. I wasn't going to catch him anyways, especially with me making every mistake and missing every corner in, in, in every fucking way. So let's just, uh, let's just go again. That was stupid. That just became one of those things where once I make one mistake, I make literally every mistake afterwards until I fucking actually, uh, like, stop and restart. It's like the, it's like the goddamn domino. Like, once I go off track a little bit, here I am missing a turn, hitting a wall, hitting the next wall, hitting a car, hitting another wall, hitting another wall, uh, missing another turn, uh, hitting another wall, spinning out. And it just keeps happening until I fucking turn off the game. So I'm just going to reset. And go at it again. You know I've already had a spin in this race. That's just opening the floodgates for more. I have to take that slower than I can so I can actually properly get slowed down for that final turn of this chicane action thing. Hey, look, it's Lowry. This is the guy I'm going to be fighting with for the next five laps. Just kidding, I'm going to be overshooting and hitting the worst part of the wall. Oh, it happens to me all the time, Sanok. It's like, oh man, I barely made a mistake and ruined this cl very climactic, ec exciting finish. Let me just redo the race. Oh, I've already taken the lead by lap two out of 70. All right. Holy fuck, can I stop? Fucking up. There's the pole setter, by the way. I suck at that turn when they're in front of me. Three wide, no big deal. Again, I'm going to be boxing Lowry to the end of the race. I just got to try to throw better punches than him. I'm not doing a good job at throwing good punches right now, though. Also, my favorite one, Sanok, is like, oh man, this, this AI card's way too fast. Let me back out and upgrade my car so I can compete with them. Oh look, the fast car isn't here. And therefore, I'm now overpowered. That happens way too much in, like, GT3. Specifically. Or especially. Like, well, fig. I'm, I'm desperately trying to, like, figure out some sort of <laughs> control over this car. Obviously, I'm not doing a good job at it, but, you know. Alright. 
to the Mach 4. Easily make the pass for the lead. Now the fun begins, because now the rubber band is turned off off. The AI is now in mustard mode, not catch up mode. Which means that Lowry is going to be on my shit. Within like half a lap. Oh, he's already passed. Yeah, okay. Here he comes. It's going to be less than half a lap. Slide overshoot. It's fine. Alright, Lowry is here. We'll let the war begin. I keep thinking I can break a little a little bit after the uh, the gear thing starts flashing at me. No, I need to do it as soon as it starts flashing. Excuse you. Oh, e. Tried to turn me. Tried to turn me. Two more laps of this shit. Kind of stressful. Gotta say. Especially when he peeks into the frame, like that. Worst part is, it looks like he's fastest in the final sector. Which is, uh, not ideal. Oh shit. Okay, one more lap. Took the purple back. Fucking hell. Section feels so different going this direction. Made the same breaking mistake. That corner. 
where I'm like, oh, I can break a little later than that. No, I can't. And once again, after a great struggle, we have held off the Ferrari for our fifth win. Of the uh, nostalgic 1979. Oh, the other Ferrari is also making his way up here. Okay. So there's that. The Mustang that started on pole ended up finishing 14th. So it didn't quite end up in last, but got close. So next round. Oh yeah, when was that? Oh, okay, that was late evening, 7:20 at night. Brands Hatch is next. This is uh. Well, this will be an interesting one <laughs> in a series of interesting races. It's working out. Uh, barely. <laughs> With great struggle, it's working out. Oh, dear. All right, we have Ferrari starting second and fourth. That is not good. Oh well, let's just see what we can do. And that's where that attempt stops, in the gravel. Let's, uh, let's try that again. All right, so what, what did we learn here? Uh, I, gotta, I gotta slow down more for turn one in order to actually make it. That's, that's what we learned here. God. Couldn't imagine Group C around here. CD or OnlyFans dot slash Team Rick. <laughs> well, turn one is extremely tricky. Like just the fact that like once again it's a curved braking zone, the turn falls away, and it's like it's also kind of deceptive in how tight it is. And there's just a massive fucking field of gravel awaiting you if you barely make a mistake. Very difficult corner. The 2021. Oh. Grand Turismo football. Football! Hey, look, I made it. Also, yeah. There's a rack up there. You're not going to see it until you're in it. Well, someone's off the track. I glanced over to my right and just saw a car in the gravel. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one struggling with that corner. Oh, there's at least three Ferraris in this race. Cool. Gotta make this move, even though there's not enough road to make it. Woo. Oh, not what I intended. It's so easy to like accidentally cut that turn, cut the apex of that turn. Because you basically have to blindly guess. Oh, 
This is meant to be cut. Pretty much. Okay, so I have to somehow close a 17 second gap on two Ferraris in four, four laps. Even with the assist of the catch up, I don't I don't know about that, Chief. Especially with how much I'm trying to wreck this lap. Hey, there's the Mark IV. Just force him wide. And then force myself wide. It's throwing me off there, like, because of how early I have to get on the brakes after crossing the line with this car. That's what's really throwing me off with the first turn. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I mean, the chicane's there for safety reasons, so, you know, it doesn't make it any easier or less frustrating, but, yeah. I mean, I love this track. I It scares me, especially the GP uh, section. I much prefer the indie layout of this track, but I'm still a Brands fan. Okay, so I got around the first of the uh, the leading uh, Ferraris. I'm surprised they both haven't leapfrogged this uh, GT40. It's both. <laughs> there's there's some models that are called the Sting Ray, and then there's some models that are called the Sting Ray. <laughs> I don't think even GM knows. Isn't it? Isn't it like? Oh, this one specifically. Oh. Huh. Okay. That is kind of funny, actually. About this specific car. Alright. Thank you, Ketchup, for allowing me to actually catch this Ferrari. The British Racing Green Ferrari. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, pardon me. All right, now I get to defend for an entire lap around this crazy ass fucking track. Okay, I made it through the hardest part, turn one. British. <laughs> British white and green. Oh, 
call 999. My car is being on fire, mate. Second there, I thought there was another car in front of me somehow, and I wasn't in the lead. Nah, it's just a back marker. I got fucking back marker jump scared by the map. The jalapeno Ferrari. <laughs> Oh, is that the, uh, what is that? Is that an Alpha? I remember what car that is. That I'm almost lapping. Oof. Okay. You know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Especially considering how close to the front the two of the three Ferraris were starting. That was a 300 SEL. Okay. Transformers Age of Extinction. You're going down an interesting Wikipedia rabbit hole tank. That yeah, was the SEL, okay. Hey. Alright. Three races to go. Next up, Spa Flank Ashon. This one might be a little easier if I can get a good run out of uh, Radion onto Kimmel. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've watched any of the Michael Bay Transformers movies like in their entirety. Maybe the first one, but like not all of it. I don't remember. I don't know. All right, we got Mustang starting on pole, so he's gonna get swallowed whole. Uh, first Ferrari is outside the top eight. So, well, why would you spoil things, Sloth, when I specifically have a tag on the stream to set that says don't spoil things? You're breaking the rules! So it's okay, I'm also parking Eau Rouge and Radion. Well, parking Eau Rouge so I can actually get through Radion. <laughs> Mori Calliope dies in Final Fantasy VII. I didn't know Callie was Aerith. Wait, how could she die if she's already death? Hold up, hold the fuck the phone here. Wait a minute, there's layers to this. Like her favorite uh, movie character, Shrek. He dies too. <laughs> Damn. Also, uh, speaking of Callie, since her new album was out, uh, that means he's she's been at the like top of the iTunes charts, like in the top ten and shit. And uh, the antis are fucking furious. I've never seen copium levels this high. Saying, oh, they're trying to cancel her <laughs> by bringing up uh, nearly 10 year old tweets back when she was younger and edgier and is not, uh, is not indicative of who she is today. Well, that was okay. All right. <laughs> Ghost Rider in lawsuits at some point. Uh, what? 
no 9k these are these are uh these these are fickle idiots on the internet they're not gonna bring up shit except oh she sucks you like anime therefore you're a pedophile stupid idiot <laughs> So I can tell you right now, unless unless she has Ghost Riders that like are completely in wavelength with her. Judging by the lyrical content of her music, definitely, definitely not Ghost Riders. People, look, yeah, literally, like it's it's the equivalent of trying to cancel me, which. To be fair, there's a lot more uh, ammunition there. Because I used to say the N-word back when I was younger and far more stupid. Her streams contain. It's not even her streams, it's just her music. I'd like to forget the GT5 Let's Play. I'm glad that my analytics have now been the GT5 videos of my an uh fuck okay let me try that sentence again. I'm really glad now that um GT Sport has replaced GT5 in my YouTube analytics as my like most watched videos. <laughs> Cuz my god Yeah, for some reason, GT5 was like, has been like my most watched videos. And it's a very specific subsect of GT, like, portion of GT5 videos has been my b most watched over the past like year. Could non racist GT5. I forgot Emil was still doing GT5. You know what, Tank? They're insured. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. I got 12 mil in the bank. Don't worry, one day there will be a Rhino GT4 Gran Turismo 5 Let's Play that isn't... Uh, uh, ...tainted by rampant racism. Race... <laughs> My name is Techno. I am traveling space. I got a rocket on my back. Alright. Despite the horrific spin, thankfully due to the uh, nature of this track having some, uh, fat, uh, some long straights, it's better off that way so not test course yeah there was a lot of test course in GT3 there was a lot of test course in GT3 I think the rubber banding in sport is as strong as it is in six. Um, I think at its strongest, they're comparable. Every current F1 circuit. First game they appeared in the video. Yo, that sounds like a good idea, actually, Sonar. 
I mean, I did that fucking Codemasters F1 video. That did okay, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it got more views than usual for a non-Gran Turismo video on my channel, so that works. Configuration. Ooh. B1995. This is all oh, this is so sketchy. We made it. So wait, if it's not if it's their current configuration, does that rule out like 2D F1 games like SNES games? <laughs> Since there's some creative liberties taken with those games. Very much, okay. Damn. <laughs> NES Monaco, let's go. I got fucking Spaceman by Electric Callboy in my head. Just because I did the. <laughs> I've had another evolution video idea, but uh, I don't know if I'll actually do it. Maybe. How's the cat doing? He's not in my room. He hasn't been hanging out with me as much the past few days. I think he's finally gotten... <laughs> he's gotten his scent fully, uh, fully established here, so I think he's... he's it's a Taylor. Taylor. -o. Mamma Mia. <laughs> I forgot about that command. Idea. I drink all day. Uh, I'm going to guess it's something alcoholic because I don't know. Rabina and a coffee. I know what one of those things are. Verbone Cavalier. Nah, it's less funny. I, I really like Reaper's joke of just linking to the fucking store page. Or whatever. Blackcurrant squash. Sounds too sophisticated for my dumb American brain. 2014, 13, 9. Ooh, you get to do that 2009. Let's go. Um, 15, 16, 2, 18, 11, 3, 20, 2000, 14, 12, 97. Hut, hut, hike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, I had to play 2009 to do my uh, Cody's F1 video. You know? For a shitty Wii game, it's actually not that bad. For a shitty Wii game with no analog controls other than steering if you have the nunchuck plugged in, not that bad. <laughs> Omaha! Omaha! Okay, Peyton Manning. Oh, speaking of, I, I guess, uh, <laughs> since we're making football references, um, and Taylor actually watches the NFL, so, uh... Boy, am I glad I don't pay attention to football anymore as a bandwagon Colts fan. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that was rough. <laughs> yeah.
after I watched the highlights of that game, um... What the fuck? <laughs> is all I need to say about that. Dude, we fucking curb stomped them in the first... Er, they, they, not we, I'm not involved in this. They curb stomped the Vikings in the first half. And then... The, reverse Uno. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh, clean race bonus. Eleven three Chiefs almost lost to the one twelve one Texans. <laughs> uh, the the scenes. The scenes if that happened. Holy shit. All right. Two races to go. And these are two races that were added in the last, the very last content update for this game. Because they still have the new sticker on them. Laguna Seca for six laps. Let's go. Hey, Chaos. Changes Imla, Barcelona, Australia, and Dobby. Laguna Seca. Man. The Weather Typhoon Lagoon. Really, really funny, really funny coincidence about the whole, the fucking, the Typhoon Lagoon meme, and then WeatherTech became the, uh, track sponsor. Very funny. Alright, there's a 300 SEL starting second, that poor soul. <laughs> He's gonna get swallowed whole. We got two Ferraris, fifth and sixth. So here we go. Laguna Seca. Really getting sick of this game launching me in fourth gear. <laughs> Stop that. Anyways, welcome to the Monterey Historics. <laughs> I don't want fourth gear at that specific moment. Or Monterey Revival or whatever they're calling the like historic racing weekend now here. Loved watching that shit on Speed Channel. I gotta say, um, with the advent of like live streaming and like live streaming races on the internet, while it's an amazing thing that I'm so fucking grateful that it's happened, there, there has been a distinct sacrifice of production quality versus being, like, filmed for TV or whatever. Or being, like, a TV broadcast. Like, I watched a couple races of the Monterey Revival or whatever from this year, and then I think back to the Monterey Historics from, like, the two, the, the Naughties, uh, on Speed Channel. Production value is leaps and bounds over current day. Or at least it felt that way. Car's a little just a bathtub. Yeah. This isn't a car, it's a bathtub. Playing by entitled homeowners. <laughs> there there's a reason why there's a uh, there's a noise limit here. Like, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh my god, Silva. Holy shit. That is not how the course curve goes, buddy. Um, but yeah. There's been some races where, like, the cars actually had to be muffled. Because they were too loud for this track. 
Like, I think in IMSA and shit. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ryza do be based in uh, Brazil, so... <laughs> It would make sense that they would have the uh, the stock car license. I mean, they've had it since. They've had it for a while. Taking those the gateway. Hell yeah. Any car license? That would be nice. I, uh, I only know this because I watched GP last, but they have been, they have added, like, 90s IndyCar and cart shit, unlicensed, to Automobilista 2 recently. Of course, that's not current day, but still, you know. Yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, MSG got the license and took it from them. Yeah, that'd be fucking cool, Sanok. Honestly, I'd love to try that as well. Again, I, I, I tried using Project Cars 2 for the Indy 500 the one year I did that, and it, it went disastrously as you would expect. My game crashed. You see, my problem was I didn't have to worry about the game crashing, I had to worry about my car crashing every time, everywhere. And everyone crashing around me. Oh shit! Oh, we got a traffic jam here. I played P cars two before. Shit. Okay, didn't spin, we're fine, it's fine. I lived. They <laughs> cream. They sure did, Sloth. I will just say it's British Racing Green, because there is a Brit in the car this time. Problem with the Seto is it doesn't have the most like competent AI, so and I don't have time to tweak shit, fine tune shit. Yeah, no like yellow flags. There's also that. You know what? You know what idea I just had? Well, a retro uh, triple crown. Like, uh, do it in fucking like Formula One 2003 IndyCar series uh, from Code Masters and fucking NASCAR Thunder 2004 or something like that, or in R03, I guess. One more lap. <laughs> triple Crown events. That's the Memorial Triple Crown. It's the uh, Monaco Grand Prix Indy 500 and uh, Coke 600 at Charlotte. All ran on the same day.
Yeah, the Memorial Triple Crown. Unless we're talking about, unless Sanok was talking about a different Triple Crown, in which case I'll go fuck myself. For not reading the play correctly. <laughs> So he was probably talking about the Memorial Triple Crown. I mean, we're just kind of referring to it as the Triple Crown. It's literally impossible to do it in real life. Because the plane ride from Monaco to uh, Indianapolis would take too long. However, there have been people that have tried to win... Or tried to do the uh, the Memorial Day 1100 by running Indy and Charlotte. Try teleporting. <laughs> All right, another race down. We have one race remaining. The old nostalgic 1979 here. What's up, Jay Bravo? How we doing? All right, final race, and it's at Barcelona. The front straight's kind of long. The rest of the track, not so much. Lane three GT two, nice. Pregnant. Oh no, Gravy. Who's the father? How his babby formed. There is a Ferrari starting on pole. That. Okay. I see. This may be a difficult finale, but let's go. Well. I, I completely lost all concentration there, so it's not surprising that I just drove into the gravel like a moron and spun. Auto clue. Yo, speaking of speaking of NASCAR, I'm stoked for the Euro NASCAR Ice Race next season. I will probably not actually watch it, but I am stoked for that to happen. The what now? Uh, Euro NASCAR is doing an ice race in Finland in March. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Oh my god. Nanigans are happening around me. Oh my god. Hold on to our driver. Six zero. Sorry, I only date guys six one or taller. Back of the line, bozo.
You see, 1v1s would make sense. However, NASCAR is rooted in chaos. <laughs> Metric. Metric. Where do the uh, where do the position points play into this gravy? Points based off of k positions gained and all that shit. It's NASCAR. We gotta have to have to uh, make the rules as convoluted and as uh, confusing as possible. Look at my whiteboard over here. Excuse me. Gravy's fun sized. <laughs> Imagine that, Sanok. Probably try working on catching Rossi instead of staring at chat. As much as I want to try to engage with conversation. It's funny, haha. Fun times. May or may not have just driven them an automobilist or two. I think he's talking about the Brazilian stock cars, not NASCAR Brazil. seconds to close. Stock car? NASCAR? Question mark? No spoilers, yeah. Even my Corvette doesn't have one. Following the rules here. Jeez. Jeez. Two to go. Seven seconds. Uh, 
Uh, once again, I'm just kind of reading chat. I, I was I had a moment there where I just kind of zoned out. I was reading chat in silence. Don't mind me. Hey, it works. Camry is one of the most highest selling cars in America. But what's up, Mora? Uh, thank you for the resub. There was a turn there. I missed it. I missed this one too. I'm very fucking happy. He's probably... At one point the Camry was. Him. Okay, final lap. I see NASCAR race trucks. Buddy, do I have news for you? They've been doing that since 1996. Have you never heard of the NASCAR truck series? Or super trucks, as they were called in the first season. Uh, Fort, I assumed you knew. Oh, you fucked up! Oh, you fucked up! Talk to you in a minute, chat. This is important. That was very stupid of a move. That was a very stupid move by me. Yeah, I did it. All right, cool. Whew. Victory! I somehow managed to win every race in the Corvette. Let's go. In the Stingray. Apparently it's one word, according to this game. Uh, that was stressful. I was not putting enough effort into that, but, you know, there we go. Alright, so... Nostalgic 1979 is complete. We have two more series left in the Pro League. Next up, we're going from... Old cars that don't fucking turn to uh, new cars that turn a lot. The Group 1 Cup. So, uh... Yeah. We get to use Group 1 cars now. As are my opponents. No custom liveries, though, interestingly. Hmm. Alright. 
So. Oh yeah, daily workout. I forgot about that. Wouldn't it be funny if I got the Sauber? Like, oh, I need a Group 1 car. Here's one. Damn. Close. That I got... Oh shit, it's the Isle of Man attack... Time attack, Subaru. Yo, this thing's fucking cool. I watched the actual onboard lap with this car. Fucking mental. Absolutely mental. Like, it's crazy watching bikes... Uh race around Isle of Man. It's also crazy watching cars go around Isle of Man. Um, hmm. I want a Group 1 car, but I want a goofy Group 1 car. <laughs> so let's go to Subaru. Wet New Hampshire would be something. Um, I don't know where to go. Cause like I don't want to pick any of like the obvious choices, and I don't want to do the long boy for reasons that I actually don't know myself. Uh. Hmm. 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 -hmm. Six to ten. There is the Bugatti VGT, but I don't want to drive the Bugatti VGT. However, could get the McLaren McLaren Ultimate Vision Gran Turismo Group One. Fuck it, I'm getting the McLaren. McLaren. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, it's even got my number. You know what? I'm not even going to put a custom livery on it since no one else is running custom liveries. Later, Sammy. Have a good night. All right, let's race. Custom delivery. Don't, I, I said no. Hey, the new tag's gone since I did the new races. There's a reason why I chose the black version, because I like the look of it. Anyways, Group 1 Cup. This Group 1 Champion Match. That's, that's the proper noun. Features cars with cutting-edge technology mired in a battle for supremacy. Indeed. We have the, uh, the, what is that, the TSO 50 and the, uh, the R18 on this cool little poster. Or whatever. At Blue Moon Bay. <laughs> they chose a Blue Moon Bay for the thing, I'm uh, sure. Anyways, we got seven races. Let's just get started. Maggiore is our first race. Let's go. You know, I, in, in hindsight, probably should have went with the long boy. But, moments passed. Obvious bait. I wasn't baiting. Oh, was it the Porsche? Look. I'm bad at telling uh, late LMP1 cars apart, okay? I blame my eyes not w working. Meh. That was just an honest mistake. Anyways, Maggiore, 8 laps, let's go. I'm starting 12th out of 20. I mean, no, I'm just genuinely an idiot. 
Oh god, I'm not driving the uh, 1959 Corvette anymore. Ooh, it is foggy here. I'm not driving a 50s Corvette anymore. I can actually stop the car. Whoa. Shout out to this fog. I just realized we've got a Van Dam up in front. Which Van Dam? Uh, you can you can choose for yourself. Crob Van Dam. The partial effing show. Uh, this car is hybrid, by the way. And uses it very quickly. Excuse me. Uh, strong agree, Taylor. Love this track. Very laggy, well, considering your hardware. Also, here's the uh, interior. This kind of fucks, actually. This is a wild interior view. But we're not here for that. I don't know if it's because of the hybrid or if sixth gear is just long in this thing. I think it's just sixth gear is long in this thing. Alpine. I'm very much not paying attention to my driving, by the way. I have not been able to focus on my driving for like the past, properly for like the past like 30 minutes. Not sure if it's obvious. Still not paying any attention, holy shit. Woo. Also, guess who gets to BOP their car after this race? It's me. I get to actively make this worse on purpose.
Martin. Wow. There's a turn over there. Cool if I could like regain focus here on what I'm doing. I'm still mostly on autopilot. Because my brain's just like, uh heat, heat two. On to heat three then. Oh boy! You know, as much as I defend the modern Heat titles, I don't have a whole lot of, t of time in them. Oh my Jesus. Alex Bowman. Honestly, this is easy to control. It also helps that I'm using a wheel. Yo, what's up, Gliber? How we doing? Thank you for the resub. How you been, friend? Attention. Timmy Hill, Reed Sorensen, DJ Kennington missing. Oh, damn, whatever will you do without those all star line entries? Not Reed Sorensen. Yeah, that's understandable. Hope you had fun with the game at least. I'm kind of stoked to play Unbound whenever, if ever, I get to play it. I still haven't played Heat. Both Cody Ware and Landon Castle. Drains really quickly. Also, recharges pretty quickly. I don't even remember Starcom. Yeah, I've watched like some uh, streams of it. Honestly, I really enjoy the characters. Tess is just a, a dumb zoomer, but, like, that's intentional and kind of charming in a way. Yeah, I like the dialogue in Unbound. That's probably not the best first impression. I watched Jimmy play it for like five seconds. He's just like, ha ha, 
Get it, guys? B -b Boba, ha ha! I'm like, okay. I love you, Jimmy, but come on. <laughs> I understand it's not your thing. Zap Rocky. You know what? Don't know shit about ASAP Rocky. We'll never listen to his music. I assume he's a musician. Uh, super happy for him to live one of his dreams of being in a video game. Super stoked. He's happy for him. Here's the fucking ASAP horn. Beep beep. Beep. <laughs> Well, undone and unbound are different words, silly. You silly. You silly. Fucking got him. Fuck, there's a band I listen to that has a song called Unbounded. I want to say it's Kill Switch Engage, but I don't know. Either Kill Switch or Disturbed or something. I think it means to be restrained in some way. Yeah, there's at least three different fucking voice lines for the whole ASAP horn, which is great. Dude, imagine if it was ASAP's idea. Wait, hold up. Yo, can I have my own horn in this game? Uh, what do you mean? Like, can I can I just say say like beep beep and players can have that as a horn? Get in the vocal booth. Beep. I wanna I wanna I want a raw recording of that session just to see how many times like how many takes he did. Like we got the like three at least three beeps in the game. Which ones didn't make the cut? That's what I wanna know. That's what I wanna hear. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> All right. Well, that was race one. That was a uh, cakewalk, uh, unsurprisingly. You make your own horn. God. I don't know why, but my my brain immediately went to the Pokemon Chatot, which you can like customize its cry with your own. I think with the DS's microphone. Ha <laughs> ha! Lol. Imagine making a custom horn is just oh. Holy crap, they changed my suit for the McLaren as well. Look at that. That was a badass suit. I like that a lot actually. Darth Vader looking ass. Pokemon say fuck, you know, Sanok? I don't know. Probably. I never actually messed with that feature. The expressway is next. <laughs> oh boy. The one with the really, 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 really long straightaway. Mm. Fuck out. We zooming. We are zooming. 
We are not we are not camped here zooming, but we're zooming. How we doing? Alright. Let's do a little bit of balance of performance, and by that I mean just make this heavier. <laughs> Give me my success ballast. I guess also lower the I don't want to lower it too much because we are at this layout of the expressway, the the east expressway, but you know. Let's go. Oh no. Oh game. Stop launching me in fourth gear. I wonder if server maintenance did broke that. Order 20, 21, 222, and stop. Excuse me, Audi. Yes, I do, Sloth. I did not realize my age pattern was in fourth gear. Guess what? It was in fourth gear. Whoops. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Rhino GT Live. Yeah, that'll do it. No wonder uh, I was starting every race in fourth gear. Because my shifter literally was engaged, was in fourth gear. Oops. Taylor has returned from the past. To the present. That <laughs> very issue a few days ago. That's funny. Burn. That that literally is what it said. They claim they're well, you know. I mean, that's what I was doing literally, you know, five minutes ago. <laughs> Well, blame the game more so than the car, but still. Bozo going to Rouge. Uh, I'm going to assume that um, you your your body was in pieces after that. Cat, their cat. They're, what? <laughs> Would you like every G Force? This instant stop. Cow's shifter. Yeah, the cat's got a powerful butt to uh move the shifter like that. Oh, Santos. They don't even count body parts. Uh, guys, we don't need the ambulance. So just get this. Just get some brooms. <laughs> Move, move. I'm God. Scream. I'll butter your toast. <laughs> Go on the wall. That'd be gruesome as fuck.
Also, shout out Power Wash Simulator being one of the best games for just chatting. There is a, uh, there is like a co-op multiplayer game I was watching some friends play where they have to like clean up uh, some fucked up shit, including uh, like uh, the aftermath of like a battle against some uh, fucked up creatures. Viscera. Good day. I, I don't know the name of it, so you, it could very well be exactly that. I should have just went all the way down on the power slider. <laughs> I've watched streams cam of people playing Power Wash with an ASMR microphone. <laughs> it is, uh... Yep. <laughs> it, is, it is very much. Oh my god. I forgot how thick the tomahawk is. That is a wide boy. Tell what happens after the monster movie. Carrying a fucking wagon. Dude, it is cheeked up to the max. This is the group one tomahawk. Testicles don't have to be that big. It's been subdued. Oi! No, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, fair. So I'm trying to be patient with this pass because we're literally on lap four of eight. And ballast, yeah. There we go. I love the single, like, black light. Just down the middle of the car. Oh my god. Big slide. Oh yeah, the little rain ERS light just constantly flashing. More like a two-door cope, am I right? Got him. Fucking got him. <laughs> it was wet from getting to drive this car. This do be a pretty moisture inducing car. Damn me. What if I didn't? What if you just had to live with this? they would have made the driver's suit white hide uh, those stains. Wink wonk. Oh my god. Don't lean into the joke. To <laughs> lean where?
I do have the lean lap, so. Hey, Elon. trying to keep up. And I'm just pulling away. <laughs> Rental carts, that's funny. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Much smoother. Got six gear in this thing so long. Just burr. But it has the power. Yet again, mentioning the fact that the expressway tracks are so much fun to drive. Yeah, number 91 basically driving a Viper, pretty much. Imagine if this was the Tomahawk instead of the, uh, or the SRT car instead of the Tomahawk. It'd be perfect. Purple by a whole ass second. Actually. <laughs> Slap an SRT logo on it. They're done. Too fast. Scrape the wall. Taking that chicane at 140 plus is wild. Actually taking every turn of this track at these speeds is wild. Listen, my testicular fortitude is not as strong as yours. I can't do that. Wiener. A winner is B. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh shit, I just realized we had Okada in this race. Oh, 
Oh, no clean race bonus is bullshit. I've been robbed. I didn't realize there was two different R18s in this game. Yeah, the 2011 and the 2016. Goes to show how much I pay attention. Anyways, next race, we're going to Fuji for race three. Don't know what you're talking about, Harry. So, like, high... Oh. I'm assuming they're both hybrid, just where... What wheels the hybrid is deployed on. Alright. Time for more nerfing. It's probably not gonna be enough, but, you know, fuck it, whatever. Let's go. Oh, it's ICE only? Okay. Unexpected, honestly. I gotta say, you know how hard... Oh, hey, it's the long boy. You know how hard it is to, like, look at Twitter and not... And, like... How hard it is to resist the urge to just constantly dunk on Elon... And the only reason I don't want to do it is because I'm sure my people who follow me have seen enough of that. So I want to provide something different, like, uh, titties. We all need some titties every now and then. However, Elon absolutely deserves all the shit that he's been getting. From, literally, from everyone on his platform. Spent $44 billion to get bullied on the internet. Can't believe you would deny your fr the friend people in your room access to titties. I mean, the most I would be able to contribute is Elon Dumb Lamal. Shit on Elon's milkers. Didn't they get divorced? He doesn't even have those anymore. Oh no! There's a turn there. This motherfucker paid for Twitter. This dude paid $44 billion for Twitter. I just got the app for free, Lamal. Turned his ex-wife. Get get Alex Jones on that when he's not, uh, you know, over a billion dollars in debt that he will never pay. Yeah, he's literally a man-child with fucking all the money. This is what ha this is what happens when you let someone when you let one of the uh, main characters of R slash Incel own a company. <clears throat> it ain't pretty. I mean, I'm not here to make fun of his genetics, because that's just something he can't control. 
there's way better things to make fun of him about, like how stupid he is. All oh, cock, no cum. <clears throat> like, I ain't gonna make fun of Elon's appearance or anything at all. That's just low-hanging fruit, and that's just unnecessary. However, shitting on him for making stupid decisions and being a fucking child, a man-child, absolutely will make fun of him for that. <laughs> and a cunt. <laughs> so about that cyber truck. Appears to be a dumbass. <laughs> Poor man's idea for both of these made real. Again, this is what happens when you give money to a, uh, to a, uh, to a r slash incel person, main character. Oh, dude, Ridge Racer 1 cars had more polygons than the fucking Cybertruck. This is a pretty small car, yeah. Oh shit. Anyways, that's that's all the commentary I had for that. I've taken the lead by the way. Tank, when are you going to get your license? Probably 50. I too played uh, Project Gotham Racing. It fed really well into my hand. Alright, that was good. <laughs> okay, Tank, take your time. Of the vehicle. No, he's he's just he catapults the vehicles. I thought I thought this was established that tank is a uh, a catapult of tanks, not a tank that has a catapult. Or is your lore changed? With the cat. Okay. All right, I Mandela'd myself then. The <laughs> license to kill. Lore. <laughs> I'm 
tank, catapulting tank. Future. Tank, I'll bite. Why specifically a 78? Oh, okay. Checks out. Hey, there's a turn over there, by the way, in case you weren't aware. Issuing him in a circle. <laughs> you know, Tank? That a very specific person, like, look, pops into my head. So, um, you know the dude behind my pillow, Like, the MyPillow brand? That guy. That, that's the visual I got from that description tank. Literally. <laughs> Now the brand is called My Pillow. It's like one of those as seen on TV products. It's like it's so much better than literally existing. Yeah, My Pillow. Yeah. Garbage. I mean, they're just like shitty feather pillows, aren't they? My anime pillow. Man, I almost pulled the trigger. Almost pulled the trigger on a body pillow. Then I remembered, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Also, what's up, Skelly? Sleeping hazard. That is a scary surname to pronounce, by the way. Bankrupting mannered. <laughs> All right, so who wants who wants to reveal to me what the O six, the number six Porsche lineup is? Because I don't know. Tandy Lauderer Ventor. All 
All right, apparently I've been out of the loop too far to realize how, like, goaded with the sauce those three are. Like, I know their names, but I didn't realize they were that good. Oh, well, you're supposed to slow down for that turn. Estra? I thought it was Tandy. Do I have to Google this? <laughs> oh, Nick is in the IMSA. Okay. Yeah, Kevin Estra also did not realize he was that fucking goaded with the sauce. Woo! And that's another easy dub. Just broke out the first freaking knee. <laughs> Unfortunately, like the only WEC anything that I ever watch or pay attention to is Lamont. So I'm very much out of the uh very oblivious to uh that oh shit, we had a Maldonado in here. In the long boy as well. That's funny. Alright. Hey, speaking of Lamar, guess where we're going next? How convenient. BOP or a lineup before they BOP our cars. <laughs> eh, I've already committed to the McLaren, so I'm gonna see it to the end, because I'm a stubborn fuck. Alright, I will, however, increase the weight. So, let's go to Lamar five laps okay so turns out that uh if uh if you go flying off the track and spin like 12 times you don't win the race huh crazy <coughs> crazy how that works out fucking loud ass flyover by the way so uh Le Mans attempt two this time hopefully I won't go I won't completely missed Molson Corner. We're doing this for clout, meanwhile. Uh, so basic basically GT7, fantastic game. GT7 community, uh, scum of the earth. Anyways, what is your tip for Molson? Molson! Corner, Taylor. What's up, Kenzo? How we doing? Okay, got it. I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind. Put that in the in my pocket. Special special life hack trick. Ooh. 
good. I'm doing alright. Thing gonna say, let's hear it. The pranks are for losers. My fucking one of my dad's friends uh, has like a bunch of like bumper stickers or whatever plastered onto his fridge in his like garage. And one of them is uh, brakes are for pussies. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Going flat out in the Porsche curb screaming for poor Chussy. <laughs> it's like breaking really helps. You see, I never thought to do that, Taylor. I thought it would, you know, be more beneficial to like not break, but obviously I was wrong. You aren't welcome, in fact, fuck you. <laughs> Someone's chat. All you need is uh, one million channel points, and you can ban Reaper. No gravy. One million. Silly Billy. Value. That was his first. That was his fucking starting value. That's the McLaren McLaren Ultimate Vision GT, but yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I just really like the look of this car. Subaru, Subaru! 360. like the spirit bomb. Everyone gather your channel points to take down Reaper. Oh, Tomahawk's gonna send it three wide. I'm just gonna let this happen in front of me. And pick up the scraps. I was already in that my fucking knees. <laughs> Gravy, you forgot to equate the dingle arm in there. Factoring potential side fumbling, fumbling. Good old logarithmic malleable uh, phase. Unfortunately, I do not have all the encabulator uh, terms burned into my memory yet. Keyword yet. Okay. Is that bias? Uh, six dabs? about it. <laughs> Jesus. We're, we're almost on the cusp of greatness.
Uh, different compared to what exactly? Undressed. Back of the line. Turbo dweeb. Is that a dude who's is that a streamer? Twitch streamer? Who fell hard down the V2 rabbit hole? Make the turn. Made the turn. <laughs> the vitriol. My God. You can kill your job and mad at it. Uh, me? That, that's me. I'm good at my job. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who fucking puts any effort into my work. Talking about the retailer. <laughs> What's said and others start fucking... <laughs> the inconsequential third party starts a fight. to go. The most annoying, annoying thing for me is when I have to, I come back to work, I go to my little area that I work at most of, most nights, and uh, like 25% of the time is spent um, putting things that the people who stock that area when I wasn't there uh, in the complete wrong fucking spot. I have to move a whole ass case of something like two sections down and two shelves down because people are fucking lazy
He absolutely did. Yeah, no, Reaper. You asked him to ban you for 30 minutes so you could go to the store, and he did. He obliged. <laughs> Dip shit. <laughs> Oh, he was active. He was, he was here! I think Gravy's just gaslighting himself now. Time for bed. The brain cell has turned off for the night. Tried to get a run out. Didn't work. There we go. Oh boy. Alright, I'll maybe remember. As long as it's a three and a half minute lap, I'll probably forget by then. What track limits? Oh, the kindness of my heart. Three, three. I've also down tuned the shit out of this thing. Let's take high racing one dude in 307. Unfortunately, Tank not knows not how that is oblivious to when he takes it too far. For the jugular. That was a scary wiggle. And there we go. <laughs> Balance has been restored.
Oh, is this the makeup after the breakup? Yeah, fuck it. Give me money. I'm hosting this wonderful conversation. Give me money. You were under no obligation to give me money. This was just a joke. There we go. The Lemon Dub. What the fuck was this thing that came linked? Gotta scroll way the fuck up in chat. Hey yo, green, clean race bonus. Oh yeah. Alright. Cool. I banana! Okay, three races left. Next, Monza no chicane. Sure about that game? Nope. Nope. Okay. Pretty. Yeah, it, sh it sure is. It sure, it sure freaking is. Look at that. Ho hey, ho ho, he he ho ho. I am a degenerate. I haven't read it yet. Be me, Ace Attorney, in court, Mr. Fuck. All righty then. <laughs> and massive fruit simps here. Uh, I'll just leave the car as is. I'm fucking simping, man. I'm telling you. I don't think I ever, I actually finished this thought, but from way earlier, but. Uh, I almost, I almost caved in and bought that LA body pillow. Almost. I was very close to pulling the trigger. But I did not want to have to explain that to the mother. That's <laughs> creepy. I understand now, Cam. <laughs> Pin bait who asked in Discord. <laughs> Oi! Guy with hair! <laughs> content. Delicious, delicious content. Thank you for the five bucks, I assume, Gravy paid it for. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's not getting it delivered is the problem. It's having it exist in my room is the problem. As in Marin Kitigawa? Oh, you know what I forgot to do uh, during big uh, November sale time? I forgot to buy the Dragon Ball manga set. Oops. <laughs> Sir, you know what? S tier waifu. I, I, I do not... Uh, no hate. Oh my god, what the fuck? I was wondering what the yellow was for. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, GT is a riot. It's so stupid, but like, it's fun. And, and it has like, 
the best way to if if there was a way to end the Dragon Ball franchise, it was the best way to end it. Bad guy was Super 17. Fan. I mean, it's not for everybody. It's understandable. I mean, in reality, when you boil it down to its basic, to its basic parts, it's just a bunch of buff dudes screaming at each other and punching each other. Without a whole lot of substance. You know, for some reason my brain was about to I was about to mention the future trunks arc and I remembered that's super not GT. I may or may not be completely fucking stupid. Hey fuck ass. Yeah, I was specifically the uh, the uh, Zamasu arc was the one I was thinking of. Honestly, I haven't actually watched Super. The only like actual episode I watched was the final episode because I like had a brief fucking. I basically had the Tournament of Power explained to me via YouTube, and then it's like, oh, hey, the last episode is airing. Fuck it. I'll watch it. Auto show clears all. I'll clear Z. Bring GZ. I mean, Dragon Ball, like, peaked at the Cell arc. Like, once Cell died, it, they basically just jumped the shark. That's when things got silly. The best part about that tank is the BMW is probably my favorite of the VGTs because it's so goddamn sexy. It does things to me. It's a very basic design. <laughs> but goddamn is it a good one. Drag race with Taylor. The haunt the pro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the boo are like like I said. For all intents and purposes, uh, Dragon Ball ended at the cell at the cell arc, the cell games. Everything after that is just a goddamn fever dream. I need to watch a superhero movie. Very mid. I gotta watch Superhero. I've watched Broly already. I I very much watched that movie. That was that was a fun time.
Honestly, Majin Vegeta is a fucking look. Like, I don't, I don't care what you say, that's probably one of the most intimidating looks in the entire franchise. Honestly, if I was spending my entire existence trying to catch up with some fucking doofus that I that I saw as inferior to me, I I would do it. chicane here in a modern cart. Oh, Vegeta sacrifices like the goaded scene. <clears throat> Took his W. Yeah, because fucking Toriyama's an asshole. Hates Vegeta. <clears throat> Whoops. And it's <laughs> <laughs> O'Neal. Okay. So, anyway, that's Monza done. Uh, fuck you, Taguchi, for taking fast lap from me. Bastard. How dare. Oh, well. Two races to go. Next up, Sardinia. Go. Oh, from... I don't know much about them. I mean, I don't know. I know Vegeta learned some fucking crazy ass technique in the uh, the manga, but Goku has Ultra Instinct, which kind of invalidates everyone else. Alright, well that's twice in a row now that I've lost this race due to being spun in the hairpin. One of the hairpins. No more. No more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm winning this fucking race. God damn it.
nicely around the Sauber. Try to make quick work of the Bugatti. Good. Up to 10th. Almost missed the Terrapin. That was not good. Gotta push through that section. Cowards actually slowing down for that final kink. Fucking cowards. More time for me to gain. Get over here. Da -da. Coward. I hate you. Just enough room. Keep a shallow line so I don't get dumped. You're an intellectual dumbass. No, I'm coming. A little quick dive under the Toyota. Not as clean as I would have liked, but I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm making moves, whether they want it or not. 28-3. All right, I think I've made a point. I think I just PB'd by like three seconds. Um. The spirit of Ian Plash is a. Uh, has a uh, taken over me in this race. <clears throat> the angrier I get, the faster I get. How you went up wide. Stupid. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. That was a uh, ambitious crossover attempt. What the fuck, dude? The fuck behind me. Or not. Keep pounding my ass. I gotta be very careful here. Make sure he doesn't stick his nose. Alright, cool. I turned in too soon. 
Safe. All right, now we're going to hot lap for three laps. Sorry, <laughs> I just tore apart the field. the exit, I don't know. <laughs> That's a wall. Basically keeping up. Still gaining like a second a lap. It looks like, but okay, Max for Sack. Super Max. Just overshooting the fuck out of this turn now. Fucking it up. <laughs> Did it again. God damn it. Okay. Here we are. All right, I have a four second cushion means, logically, I should back off a little. What the fuck? Oh yeah, no, I'm not backing off. Everything's fine. It is on your end. Fucking him with a floppy. Whoop! Get bent, motherfuckers. That took way too many tries. This was like a ended up being like a 30 lap race. Oh. 
don't see anything wrong in OBS unless it was a Twitch issue. Luckily, Gran Turismo 7 exists, and that game has amazing AI. Alright, yeah. So this, the, these fuckers in the R18s? Fuck them. One of them spun me out. Don't know which one. Piss of shits. Also, uh... Yeah. Had to go back to full power for this race. All right, one race remains in the Group 1 Cup. It's Kyoto. The Yamagiba Miyabi Combined Circuit. Away. Boy. Then the Group 1 Cup will be finito. I didn't want me to roll my sleeves. Right, you mean Sophie? I don't what the fuck they're gonna do with GT Sophie. I don't know. Anyways, let's race. Putting the power back down. Okay. Uh, came up just short. I think what I'm gonna do... Instead of reverting power back to stock, I think I'm gonna revert the weight back to stock. So we'll lighten this bitch up a little bit and uh, go at it again. Oh, hi, Sponkle. How's it going? I'm in the last Group 1 race. I'm being challenged in GT Sport, not clickbait. <laughs> Oh my god, that was... that was ambitious. That was a little too ambitious, holy shit. I don't know how the fuck I stayed on the track. The, uh, the lower weight is making me braver. I feel like this is going to have negative consequences. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> full throttle or nothing. It's like the new Metallica song Full Speed or Nothing. Full Speed or Nothing. <laughs> Baba Boy. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to go lower than that. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the hybrid on this thing drains so quickly. Hey, is this the Porsche Bros again? It is. Oh 
my balls when I take a piss. That's what that's what also drains quickly. My will to continue. Dude, my will to live has been drained for the longest time. It has not been replenished in years. Get, get your joke stolen, Tank. Or hijacked. I hijacked it. My oil pan after I thought I missed that rock. <laughs> it turns out making the car lighter makes it faster. Just drop that like 100 pounds of ballast, you know. Three wide, big dive. Angle's broken. Yeah, abuse those tires. Oh, well, that's grass. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fine. Minor setback. Touching grass, <laughs> that grass actually fucking sucks. Uh, because the human body is, uh, a fucking mess, Mora. It's a little reverse entry, yeah. Okay, three and one. I ain't scared. That was kind of amazing. Three wide, you're you're clear. Okay. Um. The fuck? <laughs> oh fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah, 
have one more lap. Made me choose this card. Uh, just eeny meeny miny mo basically. I'm like, what card do I want to choose? As I look at the manufacturers, I'm like, I don't remember any car that has ever existed. And I'm like, oh, McLaren, sure, fuck it, why not? It looks cool. It's got my number on it. It has a sick ass uh, stealth paint job from the factory. Why not? Ooh. Ha! Ishi Bashi, isn't that that guy from Yakuza? <laughs> what the fuck, Sprinkle? <laughs> Why do you have Goofy's trial on your Spotify? <laughs> Sadler, I get it. He is a real one, that's for sure. Oh, this was years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> a murder! <laughs> And the diamonds told me to do it. Damn, what the fuck are you listening to? A fast fuck. There we go. Got the dub. All it took was uh, some ridiculous driving. <laughs> I'm almost fully recovered from buying that Corvette, by the way. <laughs> Financially. Uh. Okay, that was that was wild and crazy and also fun. Again, I love driving just high grip cars and just throwing them around everywhere. But that is the Group One Cup. But I think that's all we're gonna do for today. We'll we'll save the last professional league event for next time. We're at two hundred seventy one total wins in the GT. Thingy, yeah, woo! Hey, we got a Golf GTI for our daily workout, let's go. The Golf 7. Cool. Alright, so. That is, uh, that's, that's our progress. For tonight. Next time we finish the Professional League. Fucking finally.